Today we'll dive into the world of kidney replacement therapy with a focus on two primary modalities, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis, understanding the differences and choosing the right option. We'll explore the distinct characteristics, benefits, and considerations of hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis, helping individuals with kidney failure to make an informed decision about their treatment options. Welcome back to the Kidney Zone. I'm Dr. Mo. Before we begin, please remember that this video is for informational purpose only. If you have any concerns about your kidney health, it's important to consult with a healthcare provider or with a kidney doctor. Let's start by understanding renal replacement therapy or kidney replacement therapy. For individuals with end-stage kidney disease, kidney replacement therapy is essential to support the kidney function. And this is also important to maintain overall health and well-being. Hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis are two common modalities of kidney replacement therapy, each offering its own unique benefits and considerations based on individual needs and also based on preferences. Let's start by understanding the basics of hemodialysis procedure. Hemodialysis involves the use of a dialysis machine to filter waste products and excess fluids from the blood. During hemodialysis, Blood is removed from the body through a vascular access point, such as an arteriovenous fistula, which is a connection between the artery and the vein. And it's filtered through a dialyzer, which is called artificial kidney as well, and returned to the blood. So what is the frequency of doing hemodialysis? Hemodialysis is typically performed in a dialysis center or a hospital setting, usually three to four times a week, with each session lasting between three and four hours. Some individuals may undergo home hemodialysis, which involves longer and more frequent dialysis sessions performed overnight at home. How about the access for dialysis, hemodialysis? Vascular access for hemodialysis may include arteriovenous fistula, arteriovenous graft, or central venous catheter, depending on the individual needs and also depending on the decision with the healthcare provider or with kidney doctor. Also, some individuals may have different vascular anatomy and medical consideration, which can decide which type of access they may need. So what are the advantages of hemodialysis? Hemodialysis offers efficient removal of waste products and excess fluids from the blood, providing rapid symptoms relief and also improving overall well-being. Regular hemodialysis sessions allow for close monitoring of patients by healthcare professional and access to additional support. Let's talk about peritoneal dialysis. Peritoneal dialysis involves the use of the peritoneal membrane, which is the lining of the abdominal cavity, as a natural filter to remove waste products and excess flows from the blood. A dialysis solution, or a dialysate, is infused into the peritoneal cavity through a catheter, allowing for waste products to diffuse across the peritoneal membrane into the dialysate, and this cleans the blood. How about the frequency? Peritoneal dialysis can be performed at home, offering flexibility in the treatment scheduling and fewer visits to the dialysis center. There's continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis, or CAPD, which involves manual exchanges of dialysate throughout the day, while automated peritoneal dialysis, or APD, utilizes a machine or a cycler to perform exchanges overnight while the patient is asleep. How about the access for peritoneal dialysis? Peritoneal dialysis requires the surgical placement of a peritoneal dialysis catheter into the abdominal cavity, which serves as an access point for infusion and drainage of dialysis. What are the advantages of peritoneal dialysis? Peritoneal dialysis offers greater flexibility and autonomy and also independence compared to hemodialysis, which allow patients to perform dialysis at home and maintain their daily routines. It may also provide more stable blood pressure and better preservation of any residual kidney function over time. Now we come to the important question about choosing the right option between peritoneal dialysis and hemodialysis. There are some medical considerations, uh, for example, individual medical considerations such as residual kidney function, cardiovascular health, vascular access options, and lifestyle factors play a significant role in determining the most suitable dialysis modality for each patient. 
preferences and lifestyle are also important because patient preferences and lifestyle and the ability to adhere to treatment regimens are very important factors in choosing the right dialysis option. Some individuals may prefer the convenience and flexibility of peritoneal dialysis, while others may choose to uh, do more comprehensive care and monitoring provided by the hemodialysis center. How about the access to resources, including healthcare facilities, support services, home environment, and caregiver support? Also, financial considerations are important and can impact the feasibility and choosing the success of different dialysis modalities. So to conclude, the choice between hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis is a highly individualized decision and it should be based on a comprehensive assessment of medical needs. Also, lifestyle uh, options and preferences are available to all this needs to be discussed with the healthcare professional. By understanding the differences, benefits, and consideration of each dialysis modality, individuals with kidney failure can work with their healthcare providers to make informed decisions about their treatment options and optimize the quality of life. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave us a review or a rating in your favorite podcast platform for more kidney health related content. As always, take care of your kidney, take care of your health, stay hydrated, and thank you for tuning in to the Kidney Zone.